Hello friends and welcome back. For today, the topic of discussion will be group 13 and we will be discussing all these mentioned topics. This video will certainly cover the part 1 of group 13. So let's get started. The elements of the group 13 are as shown here and if you want to know a trick to learn all these elements very quickly and with a very fun trick, you can go and check out my video. For the video, I will give the link in the description box. Moving on, there's something special about boron. Let's see what it is. It is the only non-metal of the group as the metallic nature goes on increasing down the group. It exists in many allotropic forms. Also, it has an extremely hard and black colored solid nature. Due to its extremely hard nature, it has a high melting point and the reason for that is its crystalline lattice. Let us see the physical properties of this group. The first one here is the boiling point. Here the trend is as shown here by the arrows followed by the periodic table and also by the group 30. Now that is why the boiling point goes increasing as we move down the group as shown here. The next property is the melting point. Now some points to keep in mind are boron is hard but all others are soft. Gallium is liquid at room temperature. Now to learn the melting point you can remember this graph. As we all know that visual memory is greater than literally cramming things. So I recommend you to draw this graph on your own at least four to five times and you will be easily able to conclude yourself to the sequence where the boron has the highest and the gallium has the lowest milk. Let's see our next property which is density. So it's very similar to the boiling point and the group 13 follows the periodic table trend. Now this trend will lead you to the sequence this one. The next property is the atomic radii. Here also we follow the periodic table trend only. Now the periodic table trends that I'm mentioning are basically the general periodic table trend which is mentioned in the chapter number 3 of chemistry class 11. Now according to this for group 13 the atomic radii should go on increasing as we move down the group. But here comes a little twist as aluminium has greater radii than the gallium and the possible reason for that is the 3D contraction. So the new sequence is this one. Increasing down the group just aluminium and gallium exchanged. The next property that we are going to learn about is the ionization energy. Here there is also a graph you can learn from, a W graph, which will lead you to the following sequence. Now if you are not comfortable more with the graph, you can always use a trick sentence. What it is? Bit to gold in. The initials basically represent the elements that are boron, thallium, gallium, aluminum and indium. So our next topic is electronegativity. For this, step one is write the usual electronegativity trend. The usual means the general one that is going from left to right and down to top. Electronegativity increases in the periodic table. And step two is bringing back the boron. Something like this. Now you will have your correct electronegativity sequence where B is the most electronegative and aluminium is the least. So thank you all for watching this video. Any doubts or questions don't hesitate to leave a comment and make sure you like, share and subscribe the channel. See you all in the next video.